Hi Gemini, this is your March 2017 horoscope for anyone who has their ascendant sun or moon in Gemini and uh, you know it's it's gonna be a month of Venus retrograde that's what we're going to focus on nothing is as important as this planet going retrograde which is actually the most rare cosmic event all the other planets go retrograde way more often and for much longer periods than Venus. Venus is the planet that goes retrograde once every two years uh, for about a month and a half but while the other planets they go almost every year retrograde for almost half of the year uh, or like Mercury goes retrograde three times a year but Venus goes retrograde rarely that's why we astrologers make such a big fuss out of it and why is that because Venus rules our value system our self-love our relationships and all these get re-examined and all these uh, go to the next level after this retrograde period. If till now you are doing relationships in one way, uh, after March you will be start doing them in a different way. And But let's see where is Venus retrograde for you, how exactly it's going to impact you, because it's not happening exactly in areas, uh, it's not happening in Gemini to directly impact you, but it's still happening in your, 12, in your 11th house. And maybe for you to get the perspective what is being re-examined, look back about eight years ago when Venus was retrograde in Aries again. So maybe some events that were triggered around 2009, you'll be able to put a completion and ending to them or take them to the next level. If it was relationships or friendships or contracts or agreements, they might be, they need to be re-evaluated and taken to the next level in, with improved conditions or if they're no longer viable, let go of and to, for you to fully be free for something that started around 2009 basically for you eight years ago um, or uh, it might have started in the shorter cycle of Venus uh, from the previous basically Venus retrograde period which was uh, about 19 months ago that was about August 2015 approximately when Venus was retrograde and started the new cycle. It wasn't in Aries in the same place. But think back to either eight years ago or think back to either uh, 2015 approximately in the summer, the Northern Hemisphere and the autumn. Something that might have started then might be now a time to be wrapped up, to be concluded. Uh, to be released from your life or to be taken to the next level higher level more committed more deeper or with improved conditions but venus particularly for you gemini let's see where it's going retrograde in your 11th house what does it mean 11 houses friendships social contacts relationships contacts networking so there will be especially the first part of venus retrograde which is in march happening uh, will be re-evaluation of such friendships, social networks, belonging to groups, to organizations. You'll be like, is it worth my time and energy? Am I getting back as much as I'm putting in in that friendship? Or am I getting back as much as I'm putting in of my time and my passion and my energy from this uh, organization or this group or this affiliation with a uh, ideology? Because the 11th house rules all this, so with this affiliation with a political uh, belonging of some sort uh, with this group environment and you'll be like sometimes when plan goes retrograde they can become a crisis in those relationships you know for you in particular it's some kind of friendship some kind of social connection and never forget that Venus naturally rules relationships and love so include it as well uh, but uh, 11th house is more focused also on the collective and a re-evaluation of your long-term goals or earning potential, by the way. 11th house rules our gainfulness. What is that? Well, the rewards that we get from putting uh, efforts into some long-term goal, so the appreciation we receive from others, like acknowledgements, like titles, honors, like financial remuneration for something that we've been working hard on. So that's the 11th house. So it's a house of when you receive gainfulness and you'll be reevaluating okay I've been working on this goal or dream for a long time or is it paying back to me what or is it worth me pursuing it and uh, if it goes to a crisis you might be like okay this 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 thing is ending this project this goal of mine uh, this uh, financial uh, project for example or is finishing and, and or this 
way of me of gainfulness and gaining uh, is finishing or my uh, or I have to change something about it it's not necessarily that it should end like a friendship should end also or affiliation with the organization or some dedication to a long-term goal is not necessarily that it should end only uh, another opportunity is that you trim off the necessary parts from the relationship that you have a heart to heart with this friend with the social group that you set new rules or that you ask for a revision of the rules or that you have to trim and edit and and reorganize some plan or some goal or project of yours that was uh, that was bringing you either social recognition or that was leading you towards some goal and long-term title and honor uh, that you desire or that was leading you that was some kind of gainful for you economically economically the 11th house is economic gainfulness so you're re-examining such projects or relationships and friendships with others and belonging to groups and organizations uh, and by the time Venus starts moving direct you'd be on a new level in regards to those people, in regards to those circumstances. You'd either be coming there with new ideas and projects from April onwards, which will be financially, economically gainful, because you've closed the chapter, or you'd have changed and fixed some of those projects and affiliations so they're more productive uh, for you, so they're more fair and more beneficial for you. Uh, another thing that can happen is that something that you've been working on can come to be repaid for you to, to bring you gain something from the past that maybe you've forgotten or that you've been working on the past and you haven't seen results from that it comes back to you now and repays you and finally gives you the gainfulness because Venus is re retrograde so it brings something from the past or maybe some goal a long term dream you've had from the past you revive it now you breathe it a new uh, lease of life that's another way it can manifest materially or another way is like maybe you used to be a member of a golf club before and now you meet your golf club buddy from the before and you go and become and join again that same club or maybe a friend from the past comes and and revives in you uh, all the forgotten ideas but definitely reconnecting with someone from the past because 11 house is a social house and on another level, for Gemini, Venus also rules their fifth house of children and romance hmm, and creative projects. What it can mean that some old creative project can be coming to you from the past. Maybe you used to love to draw or to paint or you used to love to, to I don't know, to, to teach fashion models catwalk or whatever <laughs> or to, to, to design to play to, to do something in the garden and you've left it behind and Venus ruling your hobbies and passions the fifth house going retrograde you might start going back to those things and dust dust them off and revive them again with the new cycle of Venus which starts from the 25th of March or fifth house is romantic experiences so maybe someone that you're romantically were affiliated from the past might start coming to the, your mind more, for you to reevaluate, for you to let go and close the door to it till the 25th of March. So you can start after the 25th of March, and especially when Venus starts moving direct from April, uh, to start uh, basically doing those romantic, approaching ro romance in a healthier way in the next level. Uh, and um, there will be some shift of your perspective in regards to romantic relationships. It can be triggered because of an outer crisis uh, or it can be triggered because of an inner alchemical natural process even without anything happening on the outside that tells you, hmm, I'm no longer happy with doing romantic relationships this way or how you're giving your love, fifth house rules your love to children, to loved ones, to lovers, to husband, to romantically, you know. You might be like, hmm, I think I've been taken for a fool. I think I've been giving too much, so I'm going to do it this way. Or thinking the opposite. Hmm, I haven't been giving enough love here. I'm seeing it from a different point of view now. I think I'll invest much more love and I'll learn to open my heart much more. But something will shift. Uh, it depends what extreme you are. If you've been one extreme and doing things in one way and romantically, allowing someone to take advantage of you or... Uh, the opposite, you've been too closed and you've been 
not giving back the same amount of love to your children um, and to your loved ones, something will start breaking that shell and while well, Venus is retrograde because you're reevaluating those fifth house matters of romance of how you do love. And by the time Venus starts its new cycles after the 25th of March, especially after April, the middle of April when it starts moving direct, you would have a new plan how to approach love and relationships and your relationship with your children as well. Maybe something in the life of your child will also be something from the past will be coming to be re-examining the relationships and to be taken to the next level as well. Uh, I think that these are also fertile periods when Venus goes retrograde in the 11th or the 5th house and in your case Venus rules the 5th house. Um, so I would say uh, when it comes to fertility it might be a period that you know if it's your ascendant in Gemini, your sun or moon, or moon that you are uh, more likely to do it because Venus is stronger, it's closer to Earth then. And, or some creative project from the past can come, or some past love can come, you know, some past love you haven't closed the door to romantically can reappear, which is the fifth house, uh, to make you, or thoughts about such past love, even if they don't reappear physically, they can, thoughts about them can come to make you reevaluate it and to make you think, uh, some people it's, it's nothing tangible outside that happens, it's just they see like, they say, oh in the past two weeks I've been thinking a lot about this romantic relationships and how I wasn't fair there or how I took advantage or how they took advantage or how, why did I allow that and, and, and the kind of ruminess, even if just they dream about it or whatever, they are able to heal somehow. This is a sometimes subconscious process. Um, so yeah. What you can expect, return of old project, a uh, return of old hobbies, old creative projects, uh, to be improved, to be worked harder on, a return of feelings about or thoughts about or tangibly some past romantically, uh, to be reevaluated and changed. Uh, some matters connected to your child that come to the to their life, uh, to be worked on, to be taken to the next level. And because it's in the 11th house, it's also connected to uh, your friendships and to your social groups and to your long-term goals. So hopefully I was able to explain it well. There's nothing else for me to talk about, to be honest, because that's the most important event of March. And I wanted to put focus on it. So thank you so much, guys. I Write to me, tell me what's happening. And I will see you next month. Thank you.